Hello and welcome back to my channel. So I've had a lot of requests for um, people just wanting to see a lesson from the Good and the Beautiful Language Arts. So my daughter is, how old are you? Six. Six, and what grade are you in? First. She's in the first grade. So this year we're doing the Good and the Beautiful Language Arts Level One. And um, she is doing awesome. She did Level K last year and it just gave her just a really awesome foundation. Um, just set her up really, really well for this first grade year. She's reading really, really well signs and things on the road and um, she's just doing just really awesome. Super proud of her. So um, today I thought I would just do a, um, do a um, like complete a lesson with us video. So it'll be a short one. I'm just going to just, we're just going to, I'm going to show you everything about this lesson so you can get a feel for kind of what it's like uh, day to day. Every lesson is a little bit different. Um, but the amount of time it takes is about the same um, with this newer edition of the um, the Good and the Beautiful curriculum. So, ready Mama, to get started? It's kind yeah. of sunny. So it is pretty sunny. Yeah. yeah. But that's good, good lighting for the camera. Okay, so we are on lesson 27 today. And the first thing that it says in the lesson is to practice sight words. So, the sight word, uh, sight word ladders. So the sight word ladders are at the beginning of the book. I have them tabbed just with a sticky note and we will go over there. It goes really quickly. So let's do this one and this one. Let's try those two. See if you remember this one. Behind. Mm -hmm. Bot. Bot. Okay, I'm not going to mark it mastered yet because I like for you to do it at least two days in a row and have it super mastered. So, okay. I'll mark that off. So, the next part is um, I'll show this little section here. As it says, read to the child, and it gives me something to read. And then we're going to complete this section next. All right, it says, Oh, you can make the sound ow, as in out. Ow. Oh. Read the following words. First read each sound and put them together to read the word. Then read the sentences. Okay. So remember the sound, sound, whole word. Sound, 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 whole word. Like that. Sound, sound, sound. Like out, out. Sh, out, shout. Like that. Out, shout. Yeah. You know what a hound is? Uh, a hound is a type of dog? Yeah, you got it. So the next section is very similar. It has its OU word, or OW words instead of OU. And it's the same it thing. Makes out. OW can make the sound OW as in cow. Read the following words. First read each sound, then put them together to read the word, and then read the sentences. <laughs> no, cow, cow. No, 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 remember each sound no, first. Ow, ow, down. Wow, ow, wow. Crown, crown. There's no in. You're kind of making it sound like there's an in. Sound crown. out e. Cr, cr. Cr, ow. Crowd. Yep. A frown is like a sad face. Mm -hmm. The ground? The ground? No, the there's no R. The gown mm -hmm. is brown. Yep. So we're 
a shower uh -huh. in, in the tower. <laughs> okay. I'm going to read this poem to you. So you did that part. Good. Oops, sorry. Put you okay, with the pencil. I um, it says, I'll read the poem first. And Can then I try you... to read sure. it? In... And that says unknown. <laughs> it's called, this is the title. Can you read that? The bird's nest. Mm -hmm. Unknown here upon the leaves at rest. So this where it says unknown, Adeline, that just means they don't know who wrote this. Because normally it would have whoever wrote it, whoever wrote the poem, it would have their name. Like Adeline right there. But it says unknown because they don't know. So you don't have to read that part. But start here. Here, of, here upon... Has built her nest here. Has built her nest to to. Good job. Okay, I'll read it to you so you can hear the whole thing. The bird's nest. Here upon the leaves at rest, a little bird has built her nest. Two teeny eggs within she's laid, and many days beside them stayed. Now she's happy, listen well. Two baby birds break through the shell. Don't you hear them? Peep, peep, peep. We love you, mother. Cheep, cheep, cheep. How cute is that? Very. Two tiny eggs within she's laid, which means within the nest. A little bird has built her nest and two tiny eggs within she's laid. And many days besides them, beside them stayed. You know, you know what that means. She stayed for the right. days. She sat on the nest. All right. So the next part is personal or shared reading. So they recommend reading every every day. So I have her read. Uh, she like I said, she's in first grade. I have her read twenty minutes on her own every day. She can choose to read it to me if she wants, or read it on her own. She tends to like to what. Read it on her own. She likes to read on her own, and if there's any words in the book that she doesn't know, then of course she's able to ask me. I'm always nearby. Um, but so she has already done her her reading for the day. She did her 20 minutes already, so I'm gonna mark that off. And then we move on to independent practice, which every lesson in the new edition of the um, language arts now has, um, which is really really nice. So this part is um, spelling words. Yes. Oh, yes, I love Have the child read each spelling word and then spell it aloud two times, clapping with each letter. Okay, go ahead. Read the spelling words. Seed? Nope. You know that word. Said? No. Said? Yeah, said. Said? Said. Said. Like she said. Said. Okay. From blue, pink, good. Eight. 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 Get that in your head, how to spell eight. Four. Mm-hmm. House. House. Four. Said house. from blue, pink, good, eight, four, house. Huh? You ready to spell? Yeah. You want to read them one more the, time? Can I go to your bathroom Mm-hmm. Like down there. Okay. Said. You gotta clap while you spell it. S A I D. Good. Okay, from. F R O M. Good job. Blue. B L U E. Yeah. Pink. P I N K. <laughs> good. Oh, the next one is good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Wait, what? The next spelling word is good, even though I said good. <laughs> so the next spelling word is, word is good. Don't look at it. G O O D. Good. Okay, tricky one. Eight. E I you'd get that one. <laughs> Four. Spell it. <laughs> oh. You. Ah. Okay, last one. House.
Yay, you did it. Yay. Give yourself a round of applause. <laughs> Yay, you. All right, next one is each spelling word is listed in all lowercase letters. Write them on all uppercase, and then down here, they're uppercase, write them in all lowercase. Mm -hmm. Okay, she's gonna knock that out real quick. Uh. Independent practice. Uh. All right, so she completed all of her independent practice here. And so that is a lesson. That is an entire lesson in the Good and the Beautiful level one. Um, it probably took us maybe 15 minutes, like 20 at the most, I think like 15. I can look back on this video when I um, edit it. But um, that's a little example for you. I hope that was helpful to you guys just to see what a lesson is like. I love this curriculum so much. It has just, it taught my daughter to read from scratch and she's doing awesome. Do you like it pretty good? You like doing the charts? I always want to do it first. She always wants to do it first. So does that mean you like it? Yeah. Good. Do you have anything to say? Bye. Thanks for watching this video. Oh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.